Hey everyone, Reaper here again with another video. This time it is another episode, episode 2 of To CGC. Like I said in my previous video, I get my books slabbed with CGC. Some of you may choose CBCS or another company. That's entirely up to you. But I choose CGC and I'm not going to get into all the reasons why. There are a ton of things on the internet, on YouTube, that discuss the, uh, the the various grading companies. But anyway, these are books. I have another set of books. I think I have five books here that I'm planning to get slabbed very soon. And I will hopefully, ho excuse me, hopefully have back by the end of the year. So let's get started. A lot of ECs in this one. War Against Crime 11. This was a book I had pressed. I think that this book is going to come back a 5.5. It's a I mean, it's a little misaligned. That's just the way it was cut, as you can see at the top. But it's no spine roll or anything like that. It's just the way the book was cut when it went into uh, production. Uh, but anyway, I think this is a very nice copy. And I think it's definitely a 5.5. It might even be a little bit better. Who knows? But very excited to see what this one comes back as. Ah, Kamiko Primer, number two, the first appearance of Grendel. This is another high-grade copy of a really cool book that I purchased at my very first New York Comic Con, the very first New York Comic Con I went to back in 2014. This was a book on my list for that con, and I found a couple very low grades that I wasn't really interested in, and I found this one for what I thought was a decent price, so I picked it up, and um, I'm looking to have it graded. I'm thinking that this is going to come back a 9.0. Might come back a little higher, it might come back a little lower, 8.5, but I'm pretty sure it's going to come back a 9.0. Another EC book, Crime Patrol 16. Speaking of New York Comic Con, I purchased my original copy of Crime Patrol 16 I think in 2017 at the New York Comic Con, it was beat to hell though. The spine was all ripped up. It was just really bad. Now, this is not a high-grade copy. I'm not making fun of my previous copy as if this one is, you know, so superior. But it is better. It is better. And I picked this up earlier in the year and I sold off that other copy. for what I got a decent amount for it too. Uh, so anyway, which was used to purchase this in full, believe it or not. So I had this pressed. I mean, it still has a couple of uh, issues with it, obviously, some uh, color break increases and, excuse me, and a couple things like that. I'm thinking that this is going to come back maybe a 3.0 on a good day, maybe a 3.5. I'm not entirely comfortable with giving this a 3.5, although it may come back a 3.5, but we shall see. I'm comfortable with giving this a very strong 3.0, definitely not any lower than that. Um, it might it might actually come back at 3.5, but we'll all see, right? We'll all find out together. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two more. Last EC for this video. The Crypt of Terror, number 17. Uh, it's a nice-looking book, but it's got some issues. It's got some staining. Um, not water stains, uh, but it's got some staining on the inside and on the back cover. Remember, the back cover is just as important as the front cover. But as long as to me, excuse me, as long as the front cover is presentable, that's something that I would be worth that, that I would invest in buying. But anyway, Cryptid Terror 17, I think that this is going to come back a 3.0. And the last book for World's Finest Comics number three. Uh, this book, another one, this is the oldest book in my collection. Okay, it's, um, I think it came back, what, 1941, I think? It's the first appearance of the Scarecrow. And uh, it's got a couple of issues with it. The, the cover is detached, you know, the glue that once held these. It's a, it's a big book, okay? And the, the cover to these early World's Finest books. Um, was much different than the covers that were at comic books at that time. It had more of a cardboard feel, although it wasn't cardboard. But it definitely had a thicker feel to it. But anyway, like some of the books that came out in Marvel uh, in the 60s with Marvel that had the square-bound spine, they were glued on, right? The staples you would see on the inside. So the cover was glued on. Well, the glue wore off on this when This book is so old. 
So just like with some of the Marvels, the glue wears off, right? So because of that, because of the detached cover, it's complete, no resto, none of that stuff. It's got some creases on the cover and all that stuff, as you could probably see right here. Um, I talked about it with a couple people. A press probably wouldn't do so do too well with this because of the cover, because of the uh, uh, the thickness of the cover and all that. So all that aside, it's still generally a, not a bad looking book considering the age of it, and you know considering what it is, First Prince of the Scarecrow. I'm thinking it's going to come back a 2.5. 2.5, which I'm perfectly cool with. So, that is episode two. Hopefully, I'll get the grades that I think I'm going to get, but we'll all find out together. Hopefully, I'll have them all back by the end of the year. So, please tune in then to when I get the books and we'll review it. Take care, everyone.